Hello, go whores and deadites, and welcome to Our Life in Horror. My name is Sam, and I'm usually with Brendan, but he's off this week, and I have my friends instead. <laughs> I've got Jess, uh, Kayla, and Miki, and in just a second, I'll let you guys plug your accounts. I'm just going to go through ours quickly. Um, we are on Instagram, TikTok, and X, and we are also on Patreon, where we do after-hours shows, bonus episodes, and we've got Discord, where we all chat. And we're also on YouTube now, so please go subscribe. We do some live events coming up soon. And yeah, if you guys want to go through and introduce yourselves and plug your accounts, you want to start with Jess? Sure. Um, my name's Jessica. I'm boring, so I wouldn't want to so follow my social media, but my husband <laughs> makes horror props and stuff, and he's much more interesting. Uh, his Instagram is surreal underscore studios. And yeah, he has some really cool stuff on there. So definitely more interesting than mine. <laughs> He does have some cool stuff. We had him on our YouTube uh, recently. Very talented. <laughs> Kayla? Yeah, same. I haven't been really active lately, but I'll plug Bose. It's uh, Critic After Dark on Instagram, and I'm Mrs. Critic After Dark, and I'll get back to it soon. I just needed a moment. But yeah. I have to manage that account, too, so. <laughs> it's Maybe. a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Miki? So I've really only got a Twitter, and that's at Cheesy Miki with eyes instead of Y's. All I really do is repost stuff, but, you know, fun time. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, so we don't have, like, news or anything like that today. We're going to get right into our top five lists. We're doing horror heartthrobs. Um, I just thought it would be a fun episode to do. Um, did you guys want to talk about anything you guys watched this week or anything sure. fun? I watched Baghead and I loved it. Oh, I want to I'm see excited that. about that. It yeah. was really good. I was surprised. And then I watched, um, oh, I forget what the name of this movie is now. I'm going to feel Studio 45 or something like that. It was on Shudder. And it might not be that. I have to ask Matt to double check. It was just <laughs> last night and I was half asleep. But I liked the movie, but Baghead was really good. Is the studio, what's the studio? It's, um, hang on. Food it's, Fighters? No. Oh, that's probably what I was thinking of because I watched that the other day too. But this one was, hang on. Um, I know it was on Shutter, and it was about like um just after the World War, and they had um kidnapped this uh German they thought was a Nazi spy, and the wife ended up killing herself, and like the husband tries to bring her back from the dead, and he oh. wants this he wants his friends to kill this German lady before um any of them can leave. So they do this seance type thing. And yeah, no, it was good. But Baghead, I remember more, obviously, because I remember the name. <laughs> but it was really good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Kayla, did you watch anything this week? Yeah, I watched uh, Night Swim. Oh, how was that? I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, it had potential, but it was like, I don't know, flatlined for me. Yeah, a lot of people um, are saying that. Yeah, it had potential, though. Um watched a movie from 1980 called Anthropophagus. That was a wild movie. Okay. Uh, last night we watched My Demon Lover. Uh... <laughs> I laughed so hard to that movie and I probably shouldn't have but I did. <laughs> we have it but I haven't seen it yet. I really want to see it. I watched it's that. It's really movie. fun. Yeah. It's okay. really fun. Yeah. Um, watched The Iron Claw this week. Um, and then I've been watching shows Two Broke Girls and some ink master okay <laughs> yeah i'm all over the place <laughs> miki have you watched anything this week so i was in a found footage kind of mood so i decided to watch grave encounters and grave encounters 2 for oh. the first time i haven't I... seen those in a long time <laughs> they are of the 2000s i'll say <laughs> <laughs> maybe like around the three star range for me i don't oh, remember for me i love those i love both of them they're like right yeah. up there for me. yeah i love found footage though and i love those ones i was excited I did, to hear that. I did i did like how the second one uh kind of um added new context to the first yeah. one i like the idea <laughs> that you could maybe around. get out yeah yeah that was cool and that movie I was talking about is Brooklyn 44. Sorry. <laughs> I had a okay. number and it confused me. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, was that it, Miki? Um, a little bit ago, I saw the first Omen in theaters. <gasps> I still oh, I can't it. wait for that. I know, me yeah. too. 
I really liked that one. <laughs> yeah. There's been a few movies that have come out that I've been wanting to see, but my anxiety has been bad. So the theater is not a place for me right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm tired. Yeah. Um, let me see. What did I watch? Um, we rewatched X um, with the trailer dropping for Maxine. Um, and then what was it called? The Seasoning House, I think it was called. I can't remember what I watched it on, but it was about, a, it's like, going through a war and this guy takes woman it's really dark um this guy takes woman and brings them to this house and basically drugs them up and sells them for sex and it, it's really bad um but it was like really good at the same time it had a lot of good effects like the kills were really intense they had a lot of cool like knife stuff going on <laughs> I Brendan didn't watch it with me I don't think it's really his thing um but I was like sending him snapchats of the kills and he's like oh cool <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to watch it for that cool but there's a lot of um essay and stuff but trigger warning <laughs> besides that I've just been watching reality tv so I'm like usual <laughs> yeah <thank> you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um Oh, my dog. Um, so do you guys want to get into our lists? Sure. Okay. Um, so we'll go, we'll count down. So we'll start with, we'll all say our number five and then our number four. So who wants to start? Mm. You can start or anyone else. <laughs> Miki, my do list. you want to start? I'll start for sure. Okay. What's yeah. your number five? At number five, I have got B from the babysitter. Yes. Yeah. I um it's played played time. by Samara Weaving. Oh okay okay okay. So <laughs> Yeah, makes five. Sense. Yes, she's <laughs> she, she's on my long list. Um I I went more by the actors than the characters. <laughs> I wasn't sure yeah. how we were doing I that. I have both I have both okay. books written down. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, she's on my long list for sure. <laughs> is she on anyone else's list? No. My list is weird. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good pick though um i really liked her in the new scream movie too yes yeah and the ready or not which is yes. getting a yeah. sequel <laughs> not sure about yeah that. i'm not sure how they're gonna do that i don't know i really liked the first one i, I yeah hope. me too yeah. is she in the second one i hope so yeah, yeah. i don't even know like what they're gonna do for a storyline <laughs> no. um okay jess you want to go with your number five Sure. My number five, most of mine, I'll be honest, for my age group is probably pretty, pretty, um, you know, on target. I don't have anything that crazy. It's just, I think for my age group, I grew up with them and I just love them. But I say at number five for me is Daniel Harris. Oh, that's a yes. good one. Yeah. He's not on my list, but that's a good one. I don't know why I didn't think of that one. <laughs> yeah, Daniel Harris for sure. I love her. She's stunning and everything. I love the hatchets. They're my favorite anyways with her, but yeah. Yeah. I like her podcast with Scout. Yes, me too. Yeah. Religious listener over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Kayla, what's your number five? Going Justin Long, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You know what? Yeah, I had a shame crush on him growing up, and I don't even know why, just because he's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's something about him. Well, he does a lot of horror, too. But uh, He does. I was talking to my girls last night, and I was telling them my list, and they were like, even they, they're like 17 and 18, and they were, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Justin Long. He's That's got, a good he's got a good resume. Yeah. Yeah, he does. I, um, uh, what movie was it? He's just not that into you, I think. The, it's a, yeah. a rom-com. Yeah, yeah I loved him in that growing yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, like Going the Distance as well is a good one. Yep. Yes. Mr. Barrymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> My number five is Brittany Snow. Um, she's in like Prom Night and Would You Rather, but she always plays like a very innocent, like she's got an innocent face. But then in X, she just comes in so confident. And like, I, I loved her in that. She stole the show for me. She's my favorite part of X. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a great one. I was just listening to the Call Her Daddy podcast just for her on it the other day. It was, yeah. Did you see that one? How she yeah. just like, I loved getting to play that one. because It was just such a different role for her. It is. She yeah. Was so confident. And she's like, I never wanted to do any type of nudity. And then I did that. And it was just freeing. But yeah, she was great. And yeah, she killed it. Yeah. All right, going into number fours. This is going to be a quick episode. 
<laughs> we should have done a top 10 list. <laughs> I've got I've got some honorable mentions. I, I do too. I do too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, going into four. Number four for me. I'm assuming that she's on everyone's list. <laughs> Tiffany Valentine. She's on she's my list. She's got to be, right? Oh, not even your top five. No, I know, and she's I'm my favorite. <laughs> she's one of my favorites too, but no. Love like, Jennifer she's... Tilly. I know. I love Jennifer Tilly too, yeah. <laughs> I definitely went more predictable. Like, they're, they are my favorites, but I went more predictable and more of the actor route. But yeah, Jennifer Tilly's amazing. Mm -hmm. She's sure. on my long list. She is yeah. probably my favorite female villain, I guess. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, there's just too many people to pick from. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No. no, my number four, I know she's probably higher on some people's, but Megan Fox for me is number four. Okay. Yeah. She's on my long list as well. This I, I know. Have, I could have I a top could, 100. <laughs> I, so could I. And I love, I know Jennifer's body is her main one, but because it's one of my favorites, that's what I. I consider and it's just like right there in your mind it's like the one you can watch over and over again too i know so, i yeah. love that movie so much <laughs> yeah me too that's a good pick <laughs> yeah um kayla i keep wanting to say Bo because Bo's name is on the screen <laughs> <laughs> we should have switched, switched it out to kayla but kayla <laughs> uh, okay i i don't know i think am i older than everyone here because my my list is uh, i have patrick wilson <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Patrick Wilson. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Low key, low key. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Tried to you no, I do. <laughs> no, I I got you. I, I enjoy him. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think of him, to be honest, though. No, no. <laughs> I dug deep. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> no, both him and Vera Farmiga and the yeah, Godric movies. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. so cute in those. <laughs> No, yeah. I actually always have a crush yeah. on him when I watch those movies, but he just didn't come to mind for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's a good one. For sure. Yeah. That is. <laughs> is it is it my go? I've already lost yeah. track. Okay. <laughs> uh, my number four is Kyle Gallner. I love mm. him. And even in Jennifer's body, I think he's so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like I'm sorry. I just watched The Passenger the other day. Yeah, right. Like and cute. that is, oh wow. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that one yet. No meaning. I'm not necessarily cute in that, but <laughs> I like him in Smile though. He's like, I think yeah. he's aging nicely. <laughs> he's got sad eyes to me. He does. Like, I don't know. That's what Brendan's always said too. He's always yeah. looks like the emo kid, even when he's not playing an emo kid. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. number three. three. Oh, number three. Okay, this is where it gets um different. <laughs> We've got uh, <laughs> Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. Oh, okay. I don't, okay. I don't know who that is. You don't? Oh my God, Silent. He's iconic. Silent. You know the big metal triangle head, and he has a huge sword. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. Oh god. Oh yeah, the huge triangle head. That's like oh, yeah. <laughs> kids for sure. He's like super tall, really strong. So okay. I might have to do a rewatch. Yeah. Uh, my number three is where my guilty crush comes in, and it's Matthew Lillard for me. Oh <laughs> yes. Even though he's like, the nerdy like... one, he's still still. My yeah. husband made fun of me earlier when I told him my list. He's like, ew. Like, oh. No, I think he'd be on many people's lists. He's not on yeah. mine, but I agree. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> my uh, guilty pleasure crush. Yeah. yeah. That's a good pick. Yeah. Going with the scream, I'm going to go Timothy Oliphant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my pick. <laughs> okay, I don't know if any of you have watched Santa Clarita to Diet, but yeah. that show's fucking hilarious and I it love does. him. So I haven't yeah. seen that. I've been wanting to watch it. Is it still going or did it no? End? Uh they canceled it. Okay. Unfortunately. I don't know why. No. I loved it. Okay. I know it was just getting really good too. So. It was, yeah. It definitely could have kept going. It's not like it was dragging and it needed to end, but it did yeah. end where it could be an end though. Yeah. It was disappointing. Yeah. But. Okay. Yeah, no, it was good. It was funny. All right. Um, is it my go? Yeah. 
We're on three, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I have Linnea Quigley. I love her. And I mean, in the 80s, she's always playing nude scenes, but she's so confident in it. And even like I've heard she had no problems doing it either. And confidence is just sexy. And I love her in Night of the Demons. She's my next tattoo. I already have it booked. I'm so excited. Yeah. I just think she's awesome. <laughs> That's a fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Good choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Miki? Number two. Number um, two. Have any of y'all seen Love Lies Bleeding? No. Not yet. No. Okay. I want to, though. Katie O'Brien plays the bodybuilder named Jackie, and she okay. was amazing in it. Okay, I've seen, like, the trailer and stuff, so yeah. I know who you're talking about. That's a good mm -hmm. pick, too. I want to see that movie really bad. I love the 80s hair, the 80s outfits. <laughs> They're so yeah. good. I love the 80s genre in general. But yeah, my number two is Devin Sawa. Because he, <laughs> when I met him at Comic Con this past year, and I always meet, I never get nervous. I was so nervous and so embarrassed. And he put his arm around me. I'm like, please, sir, I'm sweating. <laughs> so I'm <done. laughs> so, yeah, I forgot Devin about Sawa. him. I don't know. No, he looks incredible in the new Chucky TV series, too. Yeah. So, yes. So I love he looks amazing. Yes, he, he has does. held up well. <laughs> 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 I love Idle Hands. That's one of my favorite movies. So, probably where part of it comes from. But yeah. Definitely Devin Salma. He was he was tied for number one for me. This was a hard choice, but that, yeah, that's a really good pick. Yeah. <laughs> well, my number two is Devin Sawa. So yes, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Got our first match. Yeah, yeah. Well, I grew up with him, so yeah, I had a crush on him since Casper. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, um, I was definitely nervous, but it was so cool to meet him, but ner nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm glad he's still working too, because a lot of yeah. them off, you know, and it's awesome to see him still going. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. My number two is Skeet Ulrich, and he was just announced for Comic Con, and I'm going to faint. Um, <laughs> I love him in Scream, but I also love him in The Craft, and Mm -hmm. He just still looks so good. Like yeah. even in Riverdale, I'm just like, oh, daddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> understandable. So yeah. hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going into our number ones already. I should have played planned a game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, my number one is another guilty one, but I've got Ghostface. Any any iteration, but specifically <laughs> Emma Roberts. All right, all right. That's a good one. But you know, anyone who wears the outfit, it'll that'll do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's a good one. My number one is Skate All Right. I knew it was. <laughs> I knew it would be because I lost. We usually are vendors at Comic Con too, and we skipped this year. My husband want, didn't have time to make enough stuff. Of course. And this year is when he got announced, and I'm like, are you joking? So I'll visit this year too, visit some of our friends, but to meet him, he's definitely number one. He is my favorite. He's on my cup every day. Can't see him, but he's there. And happy when he's there too. But yeah, oh. he definitely he's number one. It was hard between him and Devin Sawa, but if I think about it, Billy Williams is my favorite. And the craft too, obviously. But yeah, I had a tough I had a tough time with him too, being my number hard. two or number one. My number one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So my number one is like, yeah, Josh Hartnett. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's an amazing one. Yes, yeah. I don't even. I didn't even think of him either. No, it's I like love like thirty days of night. Like genre, yeah, yeah. No, that's I had a huge one. crush on him growing up. It was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I like it's all, my list is well, my top two are the nineties, kind of. Yep. Into the two thousands, so. Yep. Yeah. All right, my number one is Bill Skarsgård. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I kind of, out of here. I wanted to pair him with his brother, but I was like, I'm yeah. just gonna pick Bill. <laughs> oh. I love oh, him. Even the Skarsgård <laughs> brothers. They're Ever great. since Hemlock Grove and then in Barbarian, I like when everyone was trying to like trying to think he was gonna be the bad guy. I did not even my mind didn't go there because I was just like, yeah, focused on him. Yeah. <laughs> A great place. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, yeah, there's definitely, I had lots of honorable mentions too, so. All right, who's on your honorable mention list? Ooh, okay, so this one is more when I was younger because now he's not looking so good, but Edward Furlong, like growing up, who didn't love Edward Furlong, you know? He was so <laughs> cute. And, but now, no, I still love him, but no, he's not on my list anymore. <laughs> but then you've got Kane Hodder, who I call my hot grandpa, because I think he's really <laughs> too. But, and he's really nice. And yeah, no, he's definitely on there. Um, That's so funny. Trying to think of who else. Those two for sure. And now the Scars Guards that you mentioned them. Yeah, mm -hmm. a couple of them would be on there. There's definitely more, but Kane Hodder was, he didn't make the list, but he was close. Okay. All right. Yeah. Making and I love Bill Mosley, so. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yes. <laughs> Miki, you got honorable mentions? I sure do. So <laughs> still in the Ghostface area, Melissa Barrera, specifically at the <gasps> end of Scream 6. Yeah. Whenever she's all angry and stuff. Love I her. had <laughs> such a crush, too, after that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got, let's see, Mary from American Mary. I forget the actress's name, but the main oh, character. Oh, yeah. I, I forget it too now, but it's going to bug me. I know who you're talking about, though. <laughs> yeah, I do. I've got, um, again, Kathleen. I don't know the actress, but Ginger from Ginger Snaps. Specifically, Isabel? you know, after the, not as a werewolf, but before that, you know, walking down the hall where Jennifer's body did that shot. Yes. Yeah. That was inspired by it. Or, yeah which everyone came first but yeah Ka kayla got it Catherine isabel right mm -hmm. yeah yeah there we go yeah she's done a lot mm -hmm. kayla did you have any honorable mentions uh i have three i this i have jason patrick from the lost boys because that's like that was my biggest crush of all time but he's only done i don't think he's done any more horror than the lost boys but michael from lost boys like yeah. And then I wanted to shout out the Supernatural boys, Jensen and Jared. Yes, because... there we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love Supernatural. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I haven't seen Supernatural, but um, Jared Padalecki in like all the 2000s horrors growing up was like a crush of mine too. He's on my honorable mentions list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was in the House of Wax, right? Yeah. House of Wax, yeah, yeah. Friday the yeah. 13th. Yeah. Yeah, supernatural. Well, that's why that's reasons. Your favorite. <laughs> yeah. Um, my honorable mentions are Jared Padalecki, um, <laughs> Micah Monroe. Absolutely love oh, her, especially yeah. in Watcher. Yeah. Yes. Gorgeous. Um, Kate Siegel. I believe I'm saying the name right. It's uh, oh, Mike Flanagan's yeah. wife. She's yeah. stunning. Like mm -hmm. I, her face is literally perfect. <laughs> um, and then I had Samara Weaving, Sarah Michelle Geller, and Dan Stevens from The Guest. He's going to be in Cuckoo with uh, um, Hunter Schaefer's Hunter there. Schaefer. I couldn't think of the first. So thing. excited you. for that one. Yeah, me too. He looks a lot better in The Guest than he may. He looks creepy <laughs> in Cuckoo, but <laughs> The Guest, he's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, there's another one, but I can't remember his name. Do you remember the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one with Jessica Biel? The guy mm -hmm. who plays Kemper. He was so cute. Like, I had such a crush yeah, on him, too. Yeah, me too. And, and also Jessica Biel. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I just seen that one, and then when he's wearing his face after, I love the face he's wearing his face. Like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he's in um, Backcountry, too. Yeah. Yeah. I really oh, like that him. one was scary. Yeah. Oh, Ed, that isn't Ed Bell? Oh, is something Bell for or no? I yeah, don't remember. It's Eric, Eric Belfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't remember. I haven't seen him in anything in so long, and I just was thinking about him. I'm like, yeah, he's cute too. He yeah, I like him. Be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a quick episode. Yeah. <laughs> quick to the point. Twenty five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Really? I feel. Oh. Oh. Um, well. I would say we could, I would whip out trivia, but we're doing trivia on our YouTube tomorrow. So I don't want to steal too many of the, uh, I don't know if Brennan's going through this game. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, so next week I'm going to be doing Dark and the Wicked. Brendan will be in on it, but we're doing it with Jordana from Pretty Killer Podcast. I have not seen that movie. Have you guys seen Dark and the Wicked? It's good. Is it? No. It's good. Okay. I it's think so. Supernatural, right? Yeah. Or... 
I haven't I haven't seen it yet so yeah I remember really liking it okay yeah yeah I'm looking forward to that um do you guys want to plug your accounts one last time sure yeah again my husband is definitely more exciting to follow with all of his horror props and stuff and we do usually we're always at Frightmare in the Falls as well too and usually Comic-Con but not this year just Frightmare but he's surreal underscore studios on Instagram awesome yeah Critic After Dark and this is Critic After Dark on Instagram perfect Miki at Cheesy Miki with eyes instead of Y's on Twitter Perfect. Thanks for or joining X, me. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, thank Thanks you. for joining me on this quick episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are Our Life in Horror. We're on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And our email is ourlifeinhorror at hotmail.com. If you want to email with any suggestions or critiques, or if you want to come on, um, feel free to send us an email. We're also on Patreon, where we do the occasional bonus episode. We got to get you one out soon. Um, we do after hours shows. I think Brendan and I will probably record one this weekend. Um, um, and we have a discord where we all chat um we're on youtube now too and we're going to be doing some fun live stuff um yeah give us a follow and thanks for listening guys and stay spooky